Hello little adventurers, and welcome back to Animal Kingdom. Today we're diving into the big blue ocean to meet one of the most incredible creatures on Earth, the whale. Now, here's the cool part whales aren't fish at all. They're mammals, just like us. They breathe air with lungs, give birth to live babies, and even feed them milk. Whale moms carry their babies for almost a year, some species even longer. And when it's finally time, they give birth tail first so the calf doesn't drown before taking its very first breath of ocean air. And those babies aren't exactly small. A newborn blue whale calf can already be around 25 feet long and weigh as much as a small truck and drinking gallons of rich milk every single day to grow even bigger. There are two main kinds of whales. Baleen whales, which use big comb-like plates to filter tiny food out of the water. And toothed whales, which, yep, have teeth. Baleen whales include the gentle giants like blue whales, humpbacks, and gray whales. Toothed whales are the hunter's sperm whales, orcas, and the unicorn of the sea, the narwhal. And let's talk about the biggest of them all, the blue whale. This superstar is the largest animal to ever live bigger than dinosaurs. They can grow to around 100 feet long and weigh as much as 200 tons. That's about the weight of 30 elephants all rolled into one. Whales are world travelers too. They live in every ocean and migrate thousands of miles each year, moving between cold waters where they eat and warm waters where they raise their young. And how do whales keep in touch over all those miles? With sound. Some, like humpbacks, sing long and beautiful songs that can last for hours and travel for hundreds of miles underwater. They're basically the rock stars of the sea. Toothed whales, like orcas and dolphins, have another trick echolocation. They send out clicks, and when the sound bounces back, it tells them where dinner is hiding. Kind of like having built-in sonar. What's on the menu? Baleen whales love krill, plankton, and small fish lots of them. A blue whale can eat up to four tons of krill in a single day. Toothed whales go for bigger meals like fish and squid, Sperm whales even dive deep, nearly two miles down, to battle giant squid in the darkness. And when I say deep, I mean really deep. The sperm whale can hold its breath for over an hour long enough to dive nearly 10,000 feet below the surface. That's almost the length of Central Park and to end. Of course, whales are built for ocean life. The thick layer of blubber keeps them warm in icy waters and stores energy for their long journeys. And for such enormous animals, many are surprisingly gentle. Whales are known to swim right alongside boats, sometimes even rolling over to peek at us with curiosity. But whales aren't just ocean giants, they're ocean helpers too. Their waste fertilizes tiny plankton, and plankton produces a huge portion of the oxygen we breathe. So in a way, every breath we take is thanks to whales. Sadly, these amazing creatures haven't always had it easy. In the past, many species were hunted to the edge of extinction. Today, whaling has mostly stopped, but whales still face dangers like ship strikes, tangled fishing nets, and warming oceans. That's why protecting whales isn't just about saving one animal, it's about keeping our whole ocean healthy. And here's a fun little fact to finish with whales don't sleep the way we do. They rest one half of their brain at a time, so the other half remembers to come up for air. Imagine napping with one eye open, that's whale life. From their songs to their size, whales remind us just how wild and magical our oceans really are. Thanks for joining us on Animal Kingdom. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures. And we'll see you next time where curiosity meets the wild.